players, JP Morai will be coming off the bench. This this is the sending a message to Pro Scouts that he is really a pro prospect. A guy who is oozing with potential, JP Morai is with the physical attributes that he has. Oh, oh measurable. Goho Cruz. His best NCAA game in the collegiate division so far. Pagaran, binigay dito kay Orgo. Orgo, first shot is up in there. Great play there of that back pick. Orgo swinging on the other side. Alam nila na si Pagaran ang ahanapin. But Sean Orgo, sabi mo nga, improved a lot. Magaling na itong batang to. He just needed the minutes. Hey, Coach Hammer, look at this. Mark Goho Cruz, task to defend the reigning MVP. Oh, yeah. Play this comments. Yeah. Pero ang rule naman dito na uh, perpetual na green sila, which is switch everything. Dahil same size sila, and they're able to stay in front. And Mapua runs out of time on that first offensive possession. That's a good stop by the Altas. Ito, baseline, stop screen. No? Hindi nga, ala ko elevator yung itatakbo nila, but Sean Orgo only to go around the big shoulders of Jericho Nunez. Sean Orko, much improved. Now, the main court general. So comes up, back pick. Ball swing, stagger speed. Watch for Orko coming out again on that baseline stack speed. You know what they're playing? That's a thumbs up. Goho Cruz calling for the screen. The MVP is defending him. Abyss fakes, drives, floater is good. Saka dun mo makikita dun yung yung maliit na bagay na pagkaset ng screen ni Jericho Nunez nag-seal siya on the reversal nag-scramble na yung depensa dahil tumag Zan Abis one hand floater parang Nelson Asay tono ng mga floater yun eh Escamis spin move Escamis draws the foul and that's an easy call for our referees hip of Nunez nakaabante na yung katawan ni Escamis he earns those two free throws ito hindi lang nakita eh nakaseal sa ilalim si Nunez kaya nung pag-rip lang dito ni Zan Abis madali na yung tira na yung para sa kanya Definitely creating a lot of space and giving him a free lane. Ang laki nung Abis. Parang aparador pag yan nasa kulitid eh. First free throw is good for Clint Escamis. At saka yung bantay niya hindi maliit, Anton. Nope. Hindi maliit si Igliani na nag-gain na rin ng weight. Good win. Definitely playing a whole lot more minutes. A bigger role for Igliani with the departure of Bonifacio. Second free throw. It's good for Escamis. Bakale hounding Orko. Calling this one a play. Iverson screen for Pagaran. And then pinned out. Patay Pagaran pulls up for three. Ah, happy to say you, eh. Anton, kita kita natin. Off the Iverson screen. Pin down on that one up play. Favorite ni Pagaran. Coming from his right side. Going to the left. One, two step. Patay ka dyan. Bago pa niya nakuha. Alam ko na. Escamis with a miss. Let's get the first report of Flo Del Agua. Flo, go ahead. The Mapua Cardinals learned that too much aggression oh, is just as no. dangerous as not being aggressive at all. That is after both of their star players, Mobilia and Recto, being in foul troubles last game, but they want to change that story today. Chris Mobilia tells me that they na manalo. Having been the former silver medalist, they cannot afford another loss. Pero go hard, man, siya. he has to be extra careful. Lalo na JC Recto will not be able to play in this game. But watch out, NCAA fans, because ready to fill his role is Noel Agemeni, who considers this game as a big chance to prove that he is also first group material. Big shoes to fill for Agemeni, isn't that right, Anton and Coach Hammer? Definitely, and he is up for the task. But Perpetual leads Mapua 10 to 2 as we head to this timeout. Takot tumanggap ng bola at trabahuhin natin ang biyaya. Yan muna mula sa panig ng, ng Aradella Chiefs, Martin and Bob. Maraming salamat, Lysel Galpo. <laughs> Katulad nung second wow, quarter natin. Yun so let's see. Dapat dito umataki ang Aradiano. Oh, pass to Valencia. Oh, what a fadeaway. Okay. Going downhill. That one rolls out. Aradiano has a chance to inch closer. Coach Olsen Rasella couldn't have asked for a better start in this big game against Mapua. 
His main options on offense are clicking Pagara knocking down a three and Mark Goho Cruz showing us his brilliance. Saka kinancel niya yung ball screen ha. Kung tumawag siya ng motion play, walang strong side help. So, atake lang siya downhill. Wala rin help side on the weak side. Kaya madaling layup yun for Mark Goho Cruz. Bakale. Bakale to Escamis. Escamis, oh! Makes Pagara touch the floor! Haba nung Goho Cruz. Siya pa yung nag-strong side help dun. Naka-challenge yun sa tira. Orgo. Orgo accelerates, steps on the brakes, stop and go play. Abyss, another floater. The soft touch of Abyss is there. Saka maganda yung kombinasyon dito. Kita mo dun sa mga player, naniniwala lang sila dun sa game plan eh. Yung Orgo hinatak, pasa sa ilalim, dalawang tao. Good luck by Nunez, nasa elbow lang yung big guy. Pressure release, one dribble floater. Cuenco, Escamis, Cyrus gets the ball back. Oh, the pass was pretty high. Bangkale has to shoot, and he converts. Pero okay. kita mo, ito napansin to ni Coach Jerry din eh. Every time, perpetual, of, of a defensive make or miss, talagang diretso na agad sila sa primary offense nila. Good fake handoff. Nunez can't finish through the contact. Bola babalik sa Mapua. Ito na si Escamis. Escamis through the lane. Oh, Kubilia couldn't hold on to the basketball. Ito, Anton. Very basic to Anton. Eh, na when you get an interior pass, the poor guy, laging sinasabi yan, dyan ka sa elbow. Dahil malilibre at malilibre. Ito, strong side help naman ni Orgo on that deep penetration by Cuenco. Libre yung strong side pass on the corner. 90% of the point guard should be able to make those shots. 90% ah, ng mga nagsa-start, kailangan nakaka-shoot nakaka ka dyan sa corner na yan. Edward Ryan wearing that carbon fiber mask is on the floor now for Mapua. Pagaran fires another three! Another one Pagaran. for Chris Pagaran! So again, that stagger screen, medyo na-delay pa ng konti, coming out, pet play nila yan. They want Chris Pagaran on top of the key because he, he likes that range and he can isolate and go for a single high ball screen. Tatlo agad yung options niya. An early 10-point lead for the Perpetual Altas. Good challenge. Cyrus Cuenco, big-time basket. Good shot by Cyrus Cuenco. They needed that. Orgo. Orgo to Pagaran. So triangle play to back pick to ball screen. Goho Cruz. Escamis on him. Goho Cruz. Natapikan. So may mga tulad ng nabagin ni Coach Jerry and Daryl Yano game. They still have some remnants of those triangle plays. Na pagka pinasa sa wing, corner pass, back pick to either ball screen or pag sin wing, dribble handle. That's the Kim Cohn influence. Yeah. Abyss. I think I'm going to say Treyes is going to be Coach Jerry. Because Coach Jerry and Coach Eric Altamirano. I know Coach Eric is going to be Coach Olsen. Or he's going to be going to San Miguel. But I know Coach Jerry is going to be Coach Jerry. I know Coach Jerry is going to be Coach Jerry. I know Coach Jerry is going to be Coach Jerry. Cuenco. Ryan. Stagger screen. Escamis pops out. Escamis inside to Ryan. Cyrus, three for three. Back to back triples for Cuenco. Good habits din na. Nakita natin on the staggers in case kay Clint Escamis. Paglabas niya, dumay si Ryan. Nagulat pa nga. Sumama yung dalawang tao. Easy kick out pass back to back threes for Cuenco. Oh, walang help. Nunez. Oh, that's the second time. Nunez is unable to finish at the rim. Oh, akala ko kukuha na ng charge yung bakali. Ito, yung pagpasa kay Ryan. Dalawang tao yung sumama sa kanya. Libre-libre talaga si Cuenco. Because if you're a big guy and you're the second screener, you have to slip to engage the defender of the bottom guy na pa-pop out. Yun yung nangyari dun sa sequence na yun. Kaya nalibre si Cuenco. Good luck by Ryan. Nunez gets that shot to fall through the hoop. Pwede mo tayo mag-shoutout ng mga coach na nagsa-scouting? Kasi ito yung pumapagod sa akin, Coach Arvin Bonleon. Tatlong laro nyo na akong pinagod. Napaayos ba tao kahapon sa pagod? <laughs> Nanonood lang ako at nagnonotes. <laughs> Pero grabe maglaro yun. Grabe maglaro yung Bastina team. 
even though you have a double digit lead against San Sebastian, Wala, no with two minutes team. left in the fourth quarter, you're not out of the woods Three against them. Yung mga kapatid na gabat, nakapikit, nasusunod yung layup eh. Baseline jumper too strong. Bojo Cruz. Bojo Cruz. Good pass. Abyss. And look at Goho Cruz fight for the rebound. It's all malaman and standing in each net on Goho Cruz. Guys like Agemeni and Habonete will play a huge role for Mapu in terms of crashing oh yeah. the boards. Oh, yeah. So, this is a lot of Agemeni and Habonete. And Chakto si Habonete. Magaling to na no, eh, point of attack. He knows how to read the, the defense and he knows how to set up his teammates. Maguban. One more. On the floor. Escamis. Splits the D. Clint Escamis finishes at the rim. Hirap na tira for Clint Escamis. Going downhill. Tatlo yung naka-help sa ikipin sa kanya. But even the weak side tagger, wala na nagawa dahil may buwelo. And Escamis, the number one player in terms of steals. Catch me if you can. Five hells. And Escamis cuts the perpetual lead to one. Right of the right of the jump ball. King Ortiz off Ayan the na. screen. Oh, he knocks it down, wasting no time mm -hmm. to make his presence felt. As expected, para dito kay King Ortiz. Ong otan, pull up jumper is off. Here comes Harvey Pagsanhan. Ay nena masig Ortiz sa one pass break. Ortiz on the touchdown. EAC is starting off. Clint Escamis doing MVP things. You see him on offense, and you don't see him on defense. You never see him coming because he's too fast, he's too crafty, he's too athletic, and he is on another level. Clint Escamis, he's got to give it everything he's got if Mapua is to make it back to where they were in season 99. Three minutes and 27 seconds remaining here in the first period. Perpetual had a 10 point lead already. And then Cyrus Cuenco knocked down back to back triples yep. before Escamis went on a 5 to nothing run. Oh, full court pressure. Turnover coming off a timeout. See Coach Olsen. Cuenco. Lawrence Mangubat. Mangubat. Grabs his own miss. Throws the ball back out to Ryan. Mangubat. Patient. Concepcion. That was two good chances. Mabua just unable to capitalize. Pelsano. Given a lot of space. Pagara. Dunez. Oh, JP Porano. Oh, nabitawa ni JP. Wild pass. Maguba tracks it down. Cyrus Cuenco says, wait. Maguba won't wait. He will take that shot and make it. Instant offense coming off the bench. Don't see Lawrence Maguba. Broken play. Just parking himself on that corner and being found by their offense. Dunez. Pagaran. Skip. Boral. Atake. Step back. JP Boral. Ooh. Foul ball on Dunez. It will be Papua basketball. Strong side help, Talaga. Nakita natin ilan mga pass na narito ng uh, uh, perpetual, uh, no Mapua rather, coming off that hard tag. Laging galing sa strong side, ayaw nilang pa-downhill drive itong mga attackers ng Mapua. Which is, uh, they respect Cuenco, Escamis, and they're forcing the outside shooters ng Mapua to knock down shots. So Dunez now has to go to the bench with two personal fouls. 
Cuenco. Mangubat na naman. Short that time. And that's a foul on Ryan. So they have to uh, they have to see that because they are jockeying for position. So we'll see. Then you pinaka ayaw mo if you're a uh, big man's coach. I, I think Coach Richard Del Rosario will have will have some tips on that on their viewing. Because if you see that, you just want the forearm to be locked. Ayaw mo na nito swimming kaya you use your hips. Para ipaun mo yung defensive guy underneath the basket instead of nagikipag slap fist kaya ang hirap na tatawagan pa kayo dalawa ng referee. Pizarro now on the floor. Axel Manuel. Montemayor back to Axel. Helsano. Manuel. Manuel. Helsano. Oh, oh, wow, Hel he got Sano. it off in time. Yep. Nakadala mong dribble handoff action sila. Merong, oh, merong weak side player three. Helsano has improved his yeah, jumper. Yeah, a lot. He, he worked on his game. And itong mga ito naman, meron at meron na sila eh. Kailangan lang nila ng mas mahabang minuto. Pero doon, natakam siyang sumundot. Kasi yun yung rule nila eh. If you observe it doon. When, eh no, pag, uh, ito muna yung ball screen, basic lift eh. Lift principle of his game. Wala nang oras doon. Eh no, hindi mo laging hard tag sila doon. Whoever is attacking downhill, naka-help, ayaw nilang pa-atakihin. Na ang, hir ang hirap talaga umatay kasi ang lalaki nitong perpetual. They get to stop here. Habonete missing there. Manuel. They go down low. Split action. Pizarro, wow! That's an old school Pizarro. big man moves. And yun yung meron ang perpetual. They have Pizarro, they have Nunez, Abyss for some time. Kaya nilang pumoste. 20 to 18. And Abonete oh, ties things up. And now Perpetual will play for the last shot. Oh no, another foul away from the ball. That time, nahuhula si Pizarro. Tignan natin kung contact talaga o nakalabit lang. Direk, sana makita natin to ha. Kasi... Ang titindi nung banggal, biglang may bumabagsak eh. Ito, on the scene. Ah, offensive talaga. Good call. Kaya dapat laging turo eh. Uupo ka. Mababa, patras. Escam is for the last shot. Came in just for this purpose. Escam is the MVP. Nothing but that at the buzzer. And he gives Mapua the lead. 22 to 20 at the end of one.